Hey everyone, my name is Max Aaron James. This is Blacksican Blockbuster, and in today's episode, I'm doing a review on Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul, directed by Adama Ebo or Ebo. I do not want to, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your, your last name. She's also wrote the screenplay, uh, starring Sterling K. Brown and Regina Hall, both incredibly talented actors, and both who I feel did incredible on this al- this album this movie i'll go i'll try to avoid spoilers first uh the movie starts off with about this couple and this is prior to me seeing most trailers i only saw one and i think i kind of just must have not paid attention to it because the trailers talk about a scandal and i guess i didn't really pay attention to that so i just thought it was about this couple, one of the man, the Sterling's character is a pastor, and they're preparing for this grand opening of their church, and they're trying to attract people to the church, right? They're trying to figure out how do we get people to fill these seats, and how do we get this church to have a grand opening uh, for us, right? So we're to be a successful church. Uh, a lot of the story, at least from the scandal side, takes from what well, actually. I think this kind of goes into spoiler territory, so I'm going to avoid that. Regina Hall is the stealer of the show. Sterling K. Brown did incredible, so did Confidence, and I forgot who played Confidence's wife. But Regina Hall, I mean, she evoked these emotions just through her facial expressions. And I was just so impressed, especially watching it a second time where I could spot things and just seeing how she just swayed through emotions and was able to switch up so easily, even if some emotions may be fake or just a cover up for how she really feels. It was done so well. The movie is a good length. I didn't think it was too long. I didn't think it was too short, but I will note the ending was eh. The ending felt more like a wait till next episode, right? It felt very much of what's going to happen, but it wasn't the good what's going to happen like other movies have that allow you to imagine what happens next. This one felt very much of what is this all that's left? I thought we were going to have more to where I would I was expecting maybe an end credit scene or a mid credit scene. I grew up. Uh, going to church most Sundays, church school, confirmation. What was the other one called? You know, I got baptized. Uh, my mom, Catholic. My dad grew up Baptist. He didn't really do practice religion that, as much as my mom. My mom really pushed it on us. My dad, black, mom's Mexican. So we went to a church, a uh, Catholic church that was Mexican. And they do not have, I guess, the same personality that a stereotypical black church would have and so um although i've been to them and participated in them experienced them because i have family right and people i've dated you know taking me to some service i haven't grown up in it so there's only so much i could say from that point of oh i i know this or i understand this I understood a lot of it, but I'm sure it hit more for people that actually grew up in a church like this and grew up in this environment. And so I cannot necessarily speak on that. I will speak on just growing up religious, right? Especially from a you know Christian, Catholic uh, background about how there are layers to or nuances to the perspective, especially from an outside view looking in about how the church is seen as something to manipulate people and others see these type of messages and even movies as a bad representation of the church. I think this was a good representation of not the church, people that are in that community. I think that there are layers and nuances to it and that the entire community should not be judged based on the actions of the few. And I think in many organizations, uh, that happens a lot where the validity comes into question because of the actions of people, especially people in power, people of influence. And, you know, in this case, 
you have people that make these decisions that have these actions and go about religion or the practice a certain way that may not fit for others, make other people feel uncomfortable or even outcasted, which uh, I did like that they kind of touched on that slightly. They didn't really push on it, which I really appreciated. They didn't become preachy. Man, sorry. I'm talking a lot. I think this movie addressed people not within this community, right, as far as religion, but people, I mean, on a political side and social side of going to these extremes and how the pendulum swings the other way too far and you end up having people that are completely against or people that are so strongly for that they turn a blind eye to certain actions. But with that said, it becomes tough, especially if you love someone or appreciate someone. Now, there are exceptions, and right? There are examples that, you know, you you could bring up about, well, what if the person did this? Would you still stand by their side? And that's what I think the beauty of this, and I think that it was done very well in this movie. Again, the the as a movie, as a person who enjoys writing screenplays, and from that perspective, the movie's not... I don't think Oscar worthy. I don't think it's worth really appraisal at the end of the year. I, I think it was just a good movie, an enjoyable movie. And I'd say watch it. But from a perspective about ideas and messaging, I'm not sure what the message one person is trying to get out. Um, uh, Adama uh, Ebo, Ebo is trying to get out. But the messages I saw and having layers to this I really appreciated and I thought it was very well executed for the amount of time that she was given. I think that the movie is worth watching. I mean, depends on how much you're worth willing to pay, you're willing to go to theaters for it. Unless you have, you know, one of the passes that allow you to get, you know, watch so many movies within a, uh, a month. Or if you get Peacock, uh, which is $5 a month, you know, you could consider that a rental, I guess. The price for a rental, watch the movie. And then watch some other stuff for the for the month. And if you don't like it, you know, do whatever. I'd give the movie a good, a soft 7. A soft 7 out of 10. I would love to know what you guys think. Please leave that, your opinions in the comment below. Y'all check up on each other. Check up on yourself. And remember, potential has no limit.